It's 10 trivia questions on Neil Diamond for Patreon subscriber Leslie Gerhardt. This is Trivia with Buds. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thank you so much for checking out the show today, leaving iTunes reviews and subscribing so you never miss a new episode. Shout out to my friend, Andrew, who reached out to me and said, hey, um, I think I figured out how you can add more um, episodes to Apple Podcasts. Like when you post, it usually limits it to 100. And lo and behold, in Libsyn, there is a setting where it says it was limited to 100 and I put no limit. So I don't know if that'll show all of them or up to 300 because I found conflicting results Googling that online. But if you're looking for older episodes of the show, starting today, you should hopefully be able to hear um, a little bit more of the back catalog, if not the whole thing, wherever you listen on Spotify or iTunes or Google Podcasts, et cetera. And let me know if that's not the case and I can look at it again. But um, thank you, Andrew, for letting me know about that. Uh, we have an episode on Neil Diamond today. They call Neil Diamond the Jewish Elvis, which is a fun nickname to have. And uh, my experience with Neil Diamond is basically the movie Saving Silverman, which I think a lot of people of my generation, if you're not a big Neil Diamond fan, you know him from that amazing movie of the early 2000s and a very funny movie. And uh, I love his cameo at the end. And uh, the whole movie ends at a Neil Diamond concert, and they filmed it at a real concert, so that was kind of cool. All right, we've got three warm-up questions before we get into Neil Diamond for Patreon subscriber Leslie Gerhardt. Great topic, Leslie. Here are your questions to warm you up. What dance act debuted during intermission at the 1994... Oh, I've already asked that question. Hold on, let me grab another card. <laughs> the answer was River Dance. River Dance. All right, here we go. Uh, what Beverly Hills 90210 character managed to stay a virgin until the show's seventh season? That is Donna, played by Tori Spelling. Donna. How about this one? What did Roger Williams bang for 13.5 straight hours at the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library in 2004 to break his own record? The answer is a piano, banging on a piano. Play the piano for 13.5 straight hours at the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library in 2004. And the last one, what Atlanta-based circus adopted the motto hip-hop under the big top? That is the Universal, S-O-U-L, circus, Universal Circus. All right, we are ready to go. We've got 10 questions plus a bonus on Neil Diamond around on the famous singer right now. Here we go. Neil Diamond trivia. Let's see what you know. Question number one. In what northeastern state was Neil Diamond born in 1941? In what northeastern state was Neil Diamond born in 1941? Question number two. In 1966, Diamond wrote four hit songs for what popular band of the time? In 1966, Diamond wrote four hit songs for what popular band of that era? Number two. Number three, Sweet Caroline, is the unofficial song of what MLB team's home games? Number three, Sweet Caroline, is the unofficial song of what MLB team's home games? Number four, in 1970, Diamond released a song called Cracklin' Rosie. What is Cracklin' Rosie? Question number five, what year was Diamond inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, 2011, 2015, or 2019? What year for Diamond inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, 2011, 2015, 2019? Number six, on his debut album, The Feel of Neil Diamond, what song features the same word twice in its title? Number six, on his debut album, The Feel of Neil Diamond, what song features the same word twice? Number seven, what song features the lyrics, Suddenly You Find You're Out There Walking in a Storm? What song features the lyrics, Suddenly You Find Out You Find You're Out There Walking in a Storm? Question number eight, Diamond had a hit song called You Don't Bring Me What? You Don't Bring Me What?
Question number nine. America was a song produced for which 80s movie remake? Number nine, America was a song produced for which 80s movie remake? Number 10, Diamond's first song ever written was Hear Them Bells, written for whom in his life? Number 10, Diamond's first song ever written was Hear Them Bells, for whom in his life? And the bonus question, Neil Diamond for two points. What Diamond hit helped make the band UB40 famous with their remake? What Diamond hit helped the band UB40 come famous with their remake? Those are all your questions for this episode on Neil Diamond for Leslie Gerhardt. Thank you for being a Patreon subscriber. Leslie, you can be just like Leslie and join for five bucks a month, patreon.com slash trivia with buds, and you can pick a topic that I record just for you monthly. I'll send you a big spreadsheet. You can fill them out for the whole year. Uh, We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to Neil Diamond trivia. Let's see how you did on this 11 question quiz. Number one, in what Northeastern state was Neil Diamond born in 1941? That was New York, the state of New York. I believe it was Brooklyn to be exact. Question number two, in what? Uh, In 1966, Diamond wrote four hit songs for what popular band of the time? The Monkees, including their... Big hit, and I think it won Song of the Year for pop songs. Uh, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Number three, Sweet Caroline is the unofficial song for what MLB team's home games? The Boston Red Sox. Boston Red Sox. Number four, 1970, Diamond released a song called Cracklin' Rosie. What is Cracklin' Rosie? It's a homemade Canadian wine. So if you put wine, you got it. Number five, what year was Diamond inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? 2011. 2011. Number six, on his debut album, The Feel of Neil Diamond, what song features the same word twice? You could have had two answers for this one, Cherry Cherry or Monday Monday, both on that album. And he also has a song with, it's almost the same word twice, it's Hanky Panky. So he loves, uh, you know, repetition there. Number seven, what song features the lyrics, Suddenly You Find Out You're Walking in a Storm? Love on the Rocks, Love on the Rocks. Number eight, Diamond had a hit song called You Don't Bring Me What? Bring me flowers. You don't bring me flowers. Number nine, America was a song produced for which 80s remake? The Jazz Singer, which was also Neil Diamond's acting debut in 1980. Number 10, Diamond's first song ever written was Hear Them Bells, written for his girlfriend at the time. His girlfriend, Hear Them Bells. And the bonus for two points, what Diamond hit helped make the band UB40 famous with their remake? Red Red Wine. Red Red Wine. There you have it, Neil Diamond Trivia. Leslie, I hope you got 11 out of 11 and had fun playing along with that quiz today. We've got your fact of the day to close things out. And the fact of the day is surgeons who play video games at least three hours a week perform 27% faster and make 37% fewer errors. Surgeons playing video games. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for supporting the podcast on Patreon at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers.